been an important couple of weeks here at WCCO. We've been sharing some very personal stories of people whose lives have been changed by some local nonprofits. This week our set is decked out in red and yellow ornaments and ribbons to celebrate the work done by the Ronald McDonald House. The foundation provides a place to call home during a very tough time. Siblings and parents can live in the houses while a child is being treated for chronic illness or serious injury. And some of the homes are actually in local children's hospitals. This large freestanding home is located near U of M hospitals. And some families stay a week, others a year and a half. Susan Elizabeth Littlefield shows us how the house provides much more than food and shelter. Said. This may seem like a standard uh, learning moment. How do we start sentences? Uh, with the capital. Yeah. yeah. But given the backstory, it's actually pretty remarkable. She could not say one English word when she arrived yeah. last October. And now? She's reading. She's speaking English. She won't even speak yeah. Polish anymore. It's amazing. Ala came here from Poland 15 months ago. Her sister has a rare disease that causes her skin to shed even with the slightest touch. She came to the U of M for treatment and is now on the mend. And then I got a bone marrow transplant for she my sister. I, I donated blood for my sister. Her story is similar to all of her classmates. They are full-time residents of the Ronald McDonald House on Oak Street, and this is their teacher. I've had parents say to me with tears in their eyes, I need you just to take care of my baby. I, I have the hospital baby. You know, I, I'm dealing with that baby. And my baby here, I can't, I can't hardly give them any time. This is how Miss Britton and a team of volunteers take care of those babies in a one-room K-12 through classroom. She's in touch with their home teachers, wherever their home schools may be, keeping students on track academically and emotionally. They're not with their dogs, they're not with their cats, they're not with their friends, they're not going to dances, they're not going to football games. Nothing is normal in their life. And now all of a sudden, oh, it's a school and somebody is taking care of me. Some learn some geographical lessons outside the classroom. So my nickname when it comes to the weather is Miss Texas. Esme is from Houston. I got them here because we don't really have this gear in Texas. They're my snow boots. Like all the students, she lives here and learns here because of her sibling. He's six years old and my, our pediatrician back in Houston noticed that he's very small for his age. And he, it's because he didn't have enough red blood cells. Several months and a bone marrow transplant later, he's doing better. And Esme's not too bad off herself. She's taken a liking to her new teacher in her new home. It's a gift for me to be able to watch that, to see these kids take care of each other. And they know what's important in life. And that's just, that's what gets me up in the morning. Thank you, Ronald A grateful teacher of a class full of kids who get it in more ways than one. The Ronald McDonald House is just a gigantic working together community and it's, I'm amazed of how many people donate all that money and it just is so awesome and so it really helps our school and the, the Ronald McDonald House in general. I couldn't say it better myself, and we have our own special Esme here, too, of course, no relation. Well, the school is actually registered as Minneapolis's alternative school, so they do have full days, and as you can see, there's a lot of learning going on. Their teacher, Miss Britton, is actually here to answer your calls. I think she's answering someone's call right this second, but she's going to be here for a few hours, got lots more calls to answer. Now, it costs about $50 to $100 a day for those families to get to stay in the refuge of the Ronald McDonald house and get the specialty treatment and schooling so even a small donation I think she's waving at the caller right now even a small donation can add a lot of comfort to help you can call one of these volunteers right here from the Red Shoe Society the number is 800-542-9226 that's 800-542-WCCO and they would love to take your call oh and nice they do a lot of nice work and how about that Esme wise beyond her years very mature young lady.
Thanks, Susan Elizabeth. <laughs> yeah, hope people call. It certainly is uh, worthwhile. And here's a little incentive for you. The phone lines are going to stay open during our evening newscast. And for a gift of $20 or more, you can get this ornament as a thank you from WCCO and from Home Furniture.